Hey guys, it's Brian with PS4 Trophies, and we're loading up stockyards here in Oddworld New and Tasty. And the reason is we want the still life trophy. Uh, you need to escape the stockyards in free fire zone without triggering the alarm or dying. Now the free fire zone and stockyards are all part of the same uh, chapter. So we're going to load this up. This is a gold trophy, so it must be hard, right? Well, it is, unfortunately. You can't uh, trigger an alarm or die at all. So right off the bat, you have these red moving panels. And these uh, will trigger an alarm if you are moving while you intersect with them. So you can't move. You have to stay still. I'm just holding the L1 to do the sneak and just stopping as, uh, as they start crossing my path. Now you can't crouch, you can't stand, you can't jump, you can't even blink when you're in those uh, red panels. So just be careful. Now when you get to this uh, platform here, you gotta wait for the scrab to come to the right so you can jump over him. And then we're just gonna continue through here. Now once this uh, one to the left paths away, I'm going to jump over here and climb up and do the same thing here. Don't let the scrab below you scare you. Kinda do the same exact move here. All right, so now that we're uh, done with that, we're just gonna continue forward. We're actually gonna head into the free fire zone now, even though it's, again, still part of the same chapter, chapter two in the game. And uh, this is where it's gonna get a lot more difficult. You're gonna have a lot more panels. You're gonna have bombs. You're gonna have mines. You're gonna have sligs. You're gonna have slogs. You're gonna have everything here. And again, you can't die or even trigger an alarm. If you do, you're gonna to have to restart the chapter in its entirety, including that first section. So when you get to here, just sneak. When that guy paths to the right, we're gonna to go to the left, and when I got a chance, I'm gonna just jump down here and jump over that mine. And here's where it gets, starts getting a little trickier. You're gonna have these, uh, oh, that was close. You're gonna have these bombs that are gonna be kind of moving around. And when they're pathing towards you, they will hit your head. So you're going to have to stay crouched. If you want to stay crouched the entire time, it's probably safer that way. I just kind of get up just to try to move things along. Uh, you also have a sleeping slig here, so you can't do any movements that don't that aren't sneaking. So we're just going to take this uh, slow. Remember, you don't get bonus points. You don't get an extra trophy for completing this faster than anybody else. So just take it slow. And then once you get over here to this edge, when the coast is clear where there's no bombs, you can jump up and into the next set of death traps here, which are these moving bombs. You gotta be careful and time this just right. This first set, one set's not hard. This last set, if you don't, if you go too late, the last one will come down on your head. All right, now this part, um, this fucking sucks right here. I, I just absolutely hate this, because now you gotta, same thing, the panels, bombs, and you gotta jump over mines. So again, uh, when they're pathing towards you from the left, you're gonna have to make sure you're ducking. And I gotta get a little further away from this bomb, otherwise I will run into it, trying to jump over it. And that was pretty damn close. So yeah, you can't be too close to the bombs when you try to jump over them. And you can't be too far away, so it's just a clusterfuck of different things. Now here, once you get to the end, you're gonna have the slig. You're gonna have to make sure he's far enough to the right so he doesn't kill you. And when this panel paths back over here, I'm just gonna jump over it and up. Now, obviously, I'm not saving any of the Mudakins. Uh, the poor fellows are gonna just be left to die and become food. But we are gonna get to this area with the, uh, the rocks. So I'm gonna grab a rock, and I'm just gonna kinda roll over here, or crawl forward. And while uh, crouching here, I'm gonna get closer to this mine, because there's a sleeping slig there and blow them up, and then I'll quickly try to get into the steam, because there's going to be another slig coming towards you. And this guy seems to always get me. Alright, so when he starts walking away, uh, just keep uh, sneaking to the left. You're going to sneak a lot in this chapter, so don't do anything stupid. And then when he comes uh, and passes me here, I'm just going to sneak forward to the steam, and when he's far enough away, I'm going to make a break for it. Now this part's not gonna work for you if you're playing on the hard difficulty, which you should not be doing for this trophy, but if you are, it won't work. So I'm gonna jump over this mine and then just run right past that slog. There's another one here, jump over that mine. They're gonna blow themselves on that mine. 
I'm gonna take a rock, throw it up here to detonate these mines, and it'll kill the rest of the slogs. Now all I gotta do is climb up and do a leap of faith, and I will have earned the still life trophy. It's again a gold trophy and is fairly tricky. Uh, again, if you get killed or you hit any of the, uh, the, the alarms, you're gonna have to restart the chapter in its entirety. So just go to hit start and hit load game. So that's it. I wanna thank you guys for watching. There's the trophy. Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at PS4 underscore trophies.